What is up guys, it is Jed. Before I start, no. I don't think season six was that bad. I also don't think it was very good. I really don't think it was much of anything, but the two titles I could choose from that could pull much attention are season six was a success or season six was a fail. Do not ask me to change my title to something like, season six is meh, but I personally don't really think it changed that much, but Epic Games is trying their best and that's all that really matters. No, this title that I have is clickbaity and I like it. I don't care what YouTuber you are, if you upload videos, you're doing it for the clicks. Just simply smarter to roll with this title, so I'm going to. So moving forward, I wanted to be sure to set this video up properly and let you know that I don't actually think Season 6 was much of anything. It's just kind of there. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just Season 6. So rather than generalizing, allow me to run through everything they've done this season and give my take on it. So probably the biggest gameplay change that I should run over first are the Shadow Stones. Now these shadow stones are a consumable that you find in the corrupted areas of the map. These are the areas that the cube had put a mark on and it had made like a low gravity zone. They're kind of like hop rocks. They're spread out in these corrupted zones. You just walk up, consume one, and you turn into your shadow form. Now I personally think the atmosphere of being in this mode is extremely creepy and that's what they were going for. I really like that aspect of it because I remember like the first time I became a ghost, it was actually like really creepy. Now the actual gameplay change to this form is you're not able to use your weapons, you become invisible to enemies when standing still, but as you move you leave a shadow trail behind you so it's easier to track you. If you're sprinting you're basically visible, it's really hard not to see you. But the benefit to this mode is you're able to move a lot faster, you're able to jump a lot higher, and you take no fall damage. You gain a new ability called Phase that can be activated by pressing your uh, primary fire button. And what happens is you do a little dash forward and you go through any object in front of you. You can go through trees, rocks, walls. I'm not sure if you can go through natural terrain. This effect lasts 45 seconds but can be exited early by using your alternate fire button. Now what do I think about these? I mean, as far as like actual gameplay advantages of becoming a ghost, I don't think it's really that special. I think I would mainly use these just to transport around the map. I thought it'd be a funny idea to maybe do a video on scaring defaults because like when you exit the form, you do a little ooga booga thing. But actually like setting up for a flank or like a kill or something, I don't think it's very good. The animation you must sit through when like exiting the form is like really long and you can get killed really easily. It's not very easy to sneak around with this because if you want any sort of movement, you become very easy to see. If you do want to like pop it and sit stationary in a position and wait for like someone to walk up to you and then jump them there, I suppose that could work. I have a pretty cool clip. I'm probably going to flash it on screen where I knock someone and then I sat in ghost form right on top of them and their teammates ran up and they started building around them, tried to get the revive. And then I went ooga booga and shot him in the face. I don't know. I don't really mind them being in the game. I think they're kind of cool. I don't think they're very good, but I'll take them. So the next probably biggest thing is the map changes. The biggest one being the floating island. I think the floating island is pretty cool. It functions as a like transportation device. Like you can get around the map a lot easier. And I really appreciate the Epic Games is like doing a lot to speed up the pacing of this game. You can just walk over, it'll shoot you up in the air, and you can just go chase kills in a large radius around it. I personally think this was a good change, but I'm sure this will change over time. I don't think they're going to make the cube sit there the whole season. The next most obvious change is the corrupted areas, and that's where you find these shadow stones that I just talked about. These are spread around the map in the places that the cube had left marks on the ground. These next two I haven't actually seen yet. I have not seen the cornfields, but I will probably jump on after recording and get some footage and put it in there. I mean, they're cornfields. They don't sound that interesting. I also haven't been to the castle, but I probably will throw gameplay in of me walking around the castle or something. I haven't been there, so I can't really speak on it, but I do know that it's in a bad part of the map. Like, if you're going to add something cool, try not to put it on the outside of the map. Had that, like, replaced Tilted Towers, it probably would have been a bigger deal. Now, the next big thing is the rebalance to the weapon roster, and they actually surprised me here. They genuinely surprised me here. First off, they vaulted the LMG as I requested in my previous video. I thought that was really cool. They vaulted the suppressed submachine gun, which is something I asked for in my previous video. They vaulted remote explosives, which is something I asked for in my previous video. They nerfed the grappler, which is something I advocated for a few videos back. They nerfed the double barrel, which I actually requested they vault it, but 
I'll take a nerf because the thing is completely brainless. Now, unfortunately, they vaulted impulses and bounce pads. I don't really care about impulses that much. I never really picked them up because they took a slot of my inventory, but bounce pads make me really sad. I'm actually really annoyed with the fact they took out bounce pads. They were fun because you could close gaps really easily with them. They could save you from people that lose build fights and then just run down and reset the fight. I thought they were really good for the game, and I do not know why Epic took them out. But do keep in mind, all of the things that have been vaulted do remain in Playground as of now. So if you still want to play with Suppressed SMG or the LMG, Remote Explosives, and the Bouncers, they are still in Playground right now. So if you want to play with them before they go bye-bye, now is your time. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the Battle Pass. And I'm not going to lie, it has taken six seasons for them to release a Battle Pass that I was actually interested in buying. I've bought every single Battle Pass, but I only buy it to support the team. I don't buy it because I want any of the skins. Right out of the gate, you get my second favorite skin in the game, Calamity, because you know what I'm saying. And then, actually, now that I think about it, Calamity is the only reason I bought the Battle Pass. I really don't care for a single other item. I think the Tier 100 skin was absolutely terrible. I think the pets are creepy as hell. I know they have to make each Battle Pass unique and different, but these just creep me out. The music is pretty bad. The OG music, I'm glad that made a return. It is nostalgic, although my only problem is we're going to taint that OG music because the nostalgic music reminds us of the good times, of good mechanics, and when the game was actually fun. Now we have the OG music, and the game is still shit. The cinematic was really nice, actually. I mean, it told a short story. It was a great way to open up the season. Had it not been there, we probably would have been a little confused what happened with the cube. Now, one thing that I really, really hate about the 6.0 update was the new sound design. If you're unaware of the new sounds, they have made it so it increases in pitch if they're above you and decreases in pitch if they're below you. If someone's walking on the floor above you, it's the exact same sound, but just it increases in pitch. It's a higher pitched footstep. This is probably the weirdest change ever. This is completely thrown off my sense of direction when it comes to sound. I had a really good understanding of where people were based on their footsteps, and now they have just completely thrown that off. On top of that, gliders are the weirdest sounding thing ever. Really don't like the new sound changes. I kind of wish they would just revert them. This is like borderline changing core gameplay mechanics. I've spent a lot of time studying footsteps and exactly what sounds what footsteps make where. I was able to track position really well based on that sound. Now that they've completely reworked it, it's going to take me a lot of time to learn the new footsteps. So for the most part, that's it. That's really all Season 6 had to offer. And you might be wondering why I titled my video like this, because for the most part, I remained pretty neutral or positive about changes they made. But the ultimate reason I say that this season was a fail was because they just didn't do much. They really didn't. Season 5 was a terrible season in the long run, but at least at Day 1 Season 5, they added a lot of cool stuff. Even with the shotgun change in Season 5, like that changed up the game a lot. It felt different. When you logged in Season 4 and then Season 5 the next day, it felt like a different game. And that's my problem with Season 6. Like, where are the building adjustments? Where are the 200 health walls? Where's the material gain buff? Where are the pump adjustments that they literally promised? Hell, I'd even take double pump right now just to be different than Season 5. And I'm sure you guys are aware that I'm not a fan of double shotgun. The issue I have with Epic Games not changing much is that the game is in need of change right now. Are they not aware they're coming out of their worst season to date and they're continuing with it? They want Season 6 to end like Season 5. Think about that. Epic Games doesn't want a Season 2 or 3. They want a Season 5. How does that make you feel? Don't you wish you had a voice? Tell me what you think in the comments below. How does the start of this season leave you feeling right now? Are you losing hope in the team? Are you losing interest in the game? Are you still optimistic about it? Let me know in the comments. So that sums up my opinions with Season 6. I don't think what we've seen at the beginning of this season is bad, and I don't think it's good. It just wasn't what we really wanted. Sure, they did some things that we had been asking for, but overall, it just wasn't enough for me to consider this season a success. Real quick before this video ends, if you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to hit the notification bell. It's the only way to subscribe to the channel. YouTube thinks it's a good idea that subscribe means only occasionally get notifications for something. So if you want to subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell. It is greatly appreciated. Also, join my Discord. You can directly talk to me there. Remember how I said my Discord got nuked? Well, it turns out that we actually got the server back to where it was. 25, 2600 members, I believe now. So that's a lot of people, a lot of people to talk to. So come in, be a part of the community, talk to me. 
if you made it this far in the video, I do want to say thank you for making it this far. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, that's about all I got for this one. I love you guys. Peace out, everybody.